Hi, my name is Emily Bender. I'm a consultant, speaker, podcast host, marketing strategist, and sometimes I share product reviews about the tools and equipment that I use to make my podcast or make other things happen in my business. And a lot of people lately have been asking me, how do I shoot my video podcast, which is the Beetle Moment Marketing Podcast. So today I'm going to show you all of the equipment I use, exactly what I like about it, how I set it up, and I have links to everything in the description to make it super easy for you to know exactly what to buy, how to plug it in, how to make yourself look and sound good. So stick around. <laughs> Thing I want to mention is I have a standing desk here, which is the Ergo Desktop Hybrid Dual Kangaroo. I love this desk. It's currently in the sitting position because when I do a video podcast, typically I'll be sitting down and you'll notice that I flipped my desk around so that I would have a nice white background and I framed it with some plants and I think this looks really nice and it's a great hack so that you don't have people like staring into your living room and seeing all of your junk. It just looks a lot cleaner and you can always flip your desk back around when you're done. So beyond that, you'll notice I of course have a ring light. Basically that's a must have if you're doing anything on YouTube or even just joining Zoom videos and you wanna even out your complexion and control and have even lighting. Lighting is one of the most difficult things about shooting video because it can be unpredictable. It can make you look a little ghastly or underlit or overlit and it's just a headache. So get a ring light like the one I have and put it in a nice big stand and you'll be G to G. It's just easy to turn this one on and off, right? I like it on the dimmest setting. The newer ones have light that is not so white. Mine is very bright and white, but that's fine for now. Anyway, microphone for the podcast. Okay, the Blue Yeti. This is the hands down best microphone I recommend for everyone. It's such a great value. It's under $200. The price fluctuates. When I bought it, I think it was around $129 but this is a USB microphone from Blue, extremely reliable, really high quality. You'll sound great. You'll definitely want a screen or a pop filter. Do not just use the microphone naked or your peas will pop. That means that you'll hear a little bit of air blow out whenever you make a pea sound. It's just the way that we speak. It's a natural thing, but it doesn't sound great on a recorded audio. So. You'll notice that I have a boom stand here instead of a desk clamp. A lot of people have desk clamps. You'll see those in videos. I personally don't because as you can see, my desk is really fat and that's, I'm getting rid of this desk actually. But for now I use a boom stand. And the nice thing about the boom stand is that it's adjustable just like the standing desk. So if you want to stand up and record yourself on video while using the mic, you can do that with a boom stand very easily. Sometimes a desk clamp will work for that too. Of course, I have a shock mount with my boom stand. Okay, this is a must have. Otherwise, you're gonna have vibrations and not as good of a sound quality on the microphone. This is the laptop shelf of my standing desk. This is my monitor. It is mounted with the VESA mount. And the nice thing about that is it's really sturdy and you can tilt it and swivel it like so. So that's really handy. And these cords actually can also clip very neatly with uh, the clips that you can get from Ergo Desktop. I just haven't set up those clips, so my, my cords are a little messy, oh well. Now, what else do you need to know about this setup here? Well, I have a full review video of this Ergo Desktop hybrid standing desk, which I will link to in the description, but just to show you why I really like this, uh, it's so easy to raise and lower the desk, and it doesn't take any effort really it just comes up and then you can see we just raise the desk and you can lock it right back into place just by screwing this knob it's pretty effortless when i'm podcasting though i like it to be lowered so that i have everything i need and naturally the webcam this is the logitech brio this is like the money shot for uh, shooting video when you're sitting at the computer, do not, please do not use the built-in eyesight on the Mac or your built-in webcam. The quality is just not there. This is a 4K webcam, the Logitech Brio. 
I did a ton of research and ended up getting this one and I couldn't be happier with it. It was about $200 when I bought it. You've seen some price gouging and fluctuations on Amazon recently. It might be about 300 now, but still it's so worth it. It's so worth it for so many reasons. It's 4K. It actually has dual microphones itself. So if you don't have a nice mic like this Blue Yeti, this Logitech Brio mic actually doesn't do a terrible job. And um, some of my Wealth Voice videos here on YouTube, I, I use the Logitech mic for those. You can listen and see what you think. Now I do use a floor mat when I'm standing, but that's in my other review video for the standing desk review. The bottom line though is when you're shooting a video podcast, done is better than perfect. You can pretty much DIY it with just the equipment I've talked about here, which is you need a ring light, get a nice webcam, have a good sounding microphone. Audio is actually more important than visual quality on YouTube in many ways, I would argue. You need to sound really good. We can deal with bad visuals. Like I'm not even in the shot for most of this video because it was just easier to shoot it this way for you guys here in the Corona economy when I'm not at a studio and I'm kind of at the stay home lockdown orders. But I figured whatever, I'm just gonna put it out. Done is better than perfect. So happy podcasting. If you want so there you have it. This is all of the equipment that you'll need to look and sound good on your podcast. If you would like help with marketing your podcast, planning content, promoting it, or even launching a new podcast or Alexa flash briefing, this is what I specialize in. My business and consultancy is called Beetle Moment Marketing, and you can book a call with me directly at emilybender.com slash call, or visit beetlemoment.com to check out my case studies, client testimonials, videos with people who have podcasts and flash briefings that I've launched. And I would love to help you with your marketing strategy for voice. Again, thanks for watching. If you have any questions or comments, please leave those below in the comments and give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful. Please subscribe to my channel for more videos like this, as well as my podcast, Beetle Moment Marketing Podcast. You can actually see all this equipment in action. And we post new episodes of that podcast every other Monday. Thanks for watching. See you next time.